There's a famous story about a jeweler. I heard this from Chacham Vadia Yosef, and he said that he heard it from his Rebbe, Chacham Zerayatiye, who was at that time when the story of this jeweler, his story happened. So many years ago, there was a big, big jeweler, meaning he, wasn't, he, he didn't have any money at the time, but listen, listen to the way he got extremely, extremely wealthy. Listen. So he, it says, which means a person has to know his job in life, of course, is to serve a Kadosh Baruch Hu. In which way to serve Hashem? Of course, is what? Is Limud the Torah. Of course, learning the Torah. You have to have Kavat Taitim the Torah. You have to set a set time every day. Set time. This is my learning schedule. Nothing's veering off from it. So one day, this jeweler, his name was Rabbi Rafael. So he says like this. So one time Rabbi Rafael, he was sitting down to learn. And uh, it was part of his, he would sit from, let's say, from the morning, he would go to work at 10 a.m. And uh, every day, he would go to 10 a.m. People were saying, listen, you have, to, you have to make more money. Parnasa, 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 parnasa. He says, look, look. It says, make your Torah keva. This is what I'm doing. I'm making my Torah keva. So please, did that. No, the, 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 the halakha says, I have to make my Torah keva. I will not leave my learning. I have over here an hour I do gemara, an hour I do halakha, an hour I do this, an hour I do that. He had his whole schedule till 10 a.m. 10 a.m. he opens up, this, opens up his, his shop. Anyway, he's sitting there one day, and again, he did not, he wasn't a wealthy guy, he was a very pashut, no, like a regular, he was getting the bare minimum for his family. One day, he uh, he gets someone comes into his shop, says, "I need to speak to you privately." He says, "Okay, I'll go to my office." They go to his office, and this guy comes in. He has a va- by the way, this is written in Chavadiyah Yosef Sefer Chazon Avadi and Prikei Avot. Says he has a very very big turban. You know, like those big turbans. The big turban. He sits in front of him. He says, I want to show you something. He puts his turban down. And he starts unraveling it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If he finishes all that, he pulls out from his turban an amazing jewel. And Rafael looks at it. He's like, wow. This is some piece. He says, I know you're an honest man. And that's why I'm coming to you to give me the right value. How much is this piece worth? So he says, listen, this piece like this is in the millions. You know, some diamonds could really, if, if you know diamond in the diamond, a diamond could be worth, even nowadays, $65 million. Somebody showed me a diamond, whatever, a picture of a diamond. $65 million, $75 million, $100 million diamonds. They could have these diamonds like, whoa. So he says, this diamond is very wide in the millions. Thank you. And he leaves. Now, the next day he's getting pressured. Go to work earlier. Make some more money. What are you doing? Come on, stop. You're learning too much. You're learning too much. And he would tell the people, Make your Torah kavua. Your macha is okay. But your, your, your Torah, that's the accord in life to sit down and learn the Torah. I have to work fine to make panasa fine. I'll do those hours. But the Torah, nobody's stopping me. I'm sitting here for every day for the last many, many years. I'm sitting here a few hours a day. Then I go to work at 10 a.m. Anyway, A few days later, he's walking, and now he's walking. Basically, 10 a.m. he gets to the store. So everybody, let's say, opens up the store at 7 a.m. Back in the day, 7, 6, they're opening up. They're already open. He's opening up four hours later, three hours later. Says, "This is what I'm doing. This is my schedule." He walks outside. What does he see? He sees a entourage, a whole entourage. See, so what's going on over here? Oh, you didn't hear? What? And now he sees like uh, you know, and cops, and whoa, whoa. Who died? This guy who came to him 
to check on the jewel. He he flew in from a whole different country. He came in on a boat by boat. He came in by boat just to see how much this is worth. So imagine you could, back then they didn't have planes. They're going from boat to boat to boat to boat. Finally, they get to him because it's a big, big deal. So they say so and so came from this place by boat. He's like, who is this guy? They see, oh my goodness, this was the guy who had this jewel. This jewel is worth millions. And then they take him, they, 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 whatever. They're taking his clothes. What are they taking his clothes for? He said, because the hotel owner, the hotel owner said that he didn't pay him. So now, in order to get some money, they're auctioning off his clothes. So they go. So are you serious? Yeah. They auction off his shoes. They auction off his this. They auction off his clothes. Finally, finally, he's waiting. What are they auctioning off? The turban. The turban. One guy says 10, one guy says 20, one guy says 30, one guy, finally he says 50. The guy says 60, 100. So Hammer's looking at him, you crazy? You buying this thing for 100? You auctioning it for 100? 100! Once, twice, last call, sold! The BDFL gets it. He goes to his office. He opens up the turban. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He finds the jewel. He became a multi-millionaire overnight. And he said, if I didn't walk that same exact second to see that, I would never have known. Because I sat and because I learned and because I didn't listen to nobody with my Torah, my Torah, nobody's going to stop me from my Torah learning. Because I did that, that's the only reason why I was okay to be such a multi-millionaire because of that. This is, a, this is an amazing lesson that we have to understand in our life. Torah Tcha Keva. You have to set a set time of Torah and you have to make sure that nothing's going to stop you no matter what business deal a person had in his life. And when you do that, you have to know. What does it say? Ali HaKesef Vili HaZahab. Hashem has all the money. Nobody else in the world has all the money. Ali HaKesef Vili HaZahab. Hashem can make a guy multi-billionaire overnight. He can wake up the next morning. He can have millions, trillions because Borei Olam owns everything. And when he sees that you're doing his will, then Hashem says, you're doing my will like, like it's everything, I'll do your will now. So it's Hashem, we're for all the good things.